Hoki mai ano, welcome back. Jacinda Ardern has managed to muscle in a catch-up with US President Joe Biden, crouching by his dinner chair for a casual chat at the East Asia Summit. Among the issues tackled were the war in Ukraine, North Korea's nuclear testing and tensions between the US and China. Political reporter Amelia Wade has more. Hello, kia ora, suiste. A formal meeting with the Cambodian PM by the bilateral book. Efforts to see great progress from Myanmar. Until Cambodian officials decided to cut off the New Zealand media early. I promise you I didn't say anything interesting after you walked out. The Cambodian capital blockaded for motorcades, so, like Ardern and President Biden, leaders could chat crouched by night and roam the corridors by day like the Canadian Prime Minister. One, two, three, please wave. With the world's media falling over each other to get the shot. That makes you feel any better. I got elbow quite a bit today as well. And yet, without the summit reaching any resolutions, is there a point to the chaos? No one expects to come to the East Asia summit and suddenly see peace break out between uh, uh, Ukraine and Russia. Gloom hangs over this part of the world tied up in complexities. It's generally the tone of the meeting. Sober, deliberate, but it was calm. Climate change, food shortages, North Korea's nuclear weapons testing, Myanmar's military takeover, tensions as China and the United States muscle off. This region itself, no question, faces huge complexity, huge challenges. Though refusing to be drawn on New Zealand's response should one nation actually follow through with their military threats. One of the reasons we don't tend to dip into that hypothetical space is because uh, of our absolute focus on the need for us to exhaust, absolutely exhaust, diplomacy. Uh, diplomacy is not done in this region yet. A region filled to the brim with conflict. Amelia Wade joins us now from Vietnam. Kia ora, Amelia. So most of the world leaders have jetted off to Bali for the G20, but not Jacinda Ardern. No, little New Zealand doesn't get the invite to that mighty G20 club. So instead, Jacinda Ardern has come here to Vietnam for a trade trip, but she's going to be missing a lot of action because... For the first time, President Joe Biden will be sitting down with his Chinese counterpart, President Xi Jinping, face to face today. And Biden has made his intentions very clear for that meeting. He says he wants the states to continue competing vigorously with China, but he doesn't want that competition to veer into conflict. And he says that he's going to ensure that by what he is calling finding China's red lines. Uh, Jacinda Ardern did manage to catch up with uh, President Biden informally over dinner, but she still hasn't secured the face-to-face -face with President Xi. Both will be in Thailand at the end of the week. But her Aussie mate, Albo, Anthony Albanese, he also hasn't managed to secure that meeting. And of course, Australia has been much more outspoken about China's advances in the Pacific than us. Also, neither country has been published on China's shortlist of meetings. So make of that what you will. Amelia Wade live from Vietnam. Tina Kwe.